Hello, I'm Russell Brand. This is on the Truth channel, but it's simply a book reading, a revolution book that you will have uh, seen in the papers lately. Here's a bit of that book being read by me. Chapter 5 is everybody. Once, by chance, whilst in a church basement with other members of an abstinence-based recovery community, I heard coming through the great and almighty wail from the main church hall. I regularly keep the company of other recovering drunks and addicts as I learn a lot from those with more clean time than me. People with more time tell me how they continue to cope with an external world that will not submit to their imagined demands. A sound beyond language, both intriguing and disturbing. The ego is defined by its insatiability. This restless demon that forever wants more, that lingers like a tapeworm at the gateway to the soul, devouring and rejecting according to its needs. From those that stagger in with fumes on their breath, stains on their teeth and fear in their eyes, I learn the most important lesson, gratitude. Whatever I endure in recovery, I need never again suffer the indignity of active addiction, the despair and hopelessness, the inexhaustible cycle of incremental self-immolation. I'm reminded of how far I've come, of the miracle that with help and humility I can, one day at a time, live free from drugs and alcohol. Today though, the racket from the vent enchants me. This pervasively seductive din is in need of investigation. So I quietly slip out the back, though I could have clanged out in metal wellies with this crescendoing hullabaloo run abating in the next room. There's no interior door that leads me to the source of the siren, so I wander around the Kensal Green Church, a typical church in West London, St Martins or some something, a few hundred years old or whatever, on a corner in the early evening. As I circumnavigate the unremarkable perimeter, the alien choir grows louder, and I'm pretty certain I've found the right door, so I give it an assertive shove, but it's locked. I strain to reach a tiptoed near cat here, up to the window, high, like an apple in a fable. I can't see nothing, so I do a first knock. The first knock, always quiet. The split intention of getting attention without causing a disturbance. The second knock, a little more committal. The third, almost an attempt to split the wood, is the one they hear, the only one they heard, the one I might as well have done in the first place. If you're gonna knock, knock.